Hi guys, welcome to Mass Effect Talks. This is episode 22, I believe. Um, I'm not counting the um, I'm not counting the Christmas, the subscriber Christmas list Mass Effect Talks. I'm counting those on their own. And it's gonna be on the Batarians. I know not a lot of people like the Batarians just because they're pretty unlikable. But I, I, I've always wanted to know a little bit more about them. Unfortunately, there's not that much um, about them. I really wanted to, to learn about their biology. I thought they were going to have a pretty extensive biology, but they don't. I didn't find that much. All, that they, all they pretty much say is that they have four eyes. No! <gasps> oh my god! I mean, obviously. And that they're bipedal. <gasps> No, -uh. there's nothing new with the biology for the bat for the Batarians, and I was like, that kind of sucks. Pretty much all that I've been reading for the Batarians is how horrible they are, like how 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 much of a menace they are to the galaxy and to everybody, um, which is kind of sad. It's kind of like there's got to be a little more to them, you know? Like, how are they on their home planet? Um, they are a very uh, intense race. When it comes to the things that they're capable of doing, a lot of Batarians are pirates. Uh, they pretty much live outside of Citadel space. Um, they live in the Skillian Verge, in um, in the Traverse. So they they live beyond the beyond those the the, the, the Citadel beyond Citadel space. Um, so they're not really governed. The Batarians um, actually did have a spot in the Citadel. Uh, not in the Council, on the Citadel. Um, they had an embassy and everything. But once the humans came onto the Citadel, uh, a few a few years after, um, the humans started to... the Batarians were already uh, taking over the like the Traverse systems and the, the Scalian Verge uh, areas that were um, not in Citadel space. And when the humans started to colonize planets um, on those on in those in that area in the Traverse and in the and in the Scalian Verge, the Batarians were like, what the hell? You know, this is our area. So they told the they, they tried to do it, you know, as responsibly as they could. So they, they were like, hey, you know, uh, could could you claim the Traverse and the Sk Skillian uh, Verge, you know, just Batarian space, like, for, for us. You know, because we were, they were pretty much there first. Um, and the council was like, no. They, 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 they didn't allow it. And the Batarians got really mad. They were like, what? You're going to allow these idiots, these newcomers, um, to take over our planets? So they got mad and they left. They left the Citadel, they closed their embassy, and the Batarians just have not been involved in the Citadel for years. <clears throat> um, so they, they, they held this huge grudge against not only the Council but and the Citadel, but mostly the humans. They hate the humans with with a passion. For years, they've never gotten over it. They've been attacking human colonies for years as payback for what they did. So yeah, they're not a happy race. They're, they're pretty much the enemy of every race. Batarians are not just pirates, they're also slavers. In Mass Effect Shepard, any of Shepard's backgrounds, most of Shepard's backgrounds include Batarians, somehow. If you're a colonist, uh, Shepard's friends and family were killed by Batarian slavers on Mindwar. If you're a spacer, uh, Shepard meets Lieutenant Zabaleta, the guy that um, that his mother, that Shepard's mom, served with. He was suffering from post-traumatic uh, stress disorder after witnessing the Batarian raid on Mindwar. If you're a war hero, uh, during the Skillian Blitz, Shepard ha held off the Batarian gr ground troops. Um, single-handed until the reinforcements arrived. If you're ruthless, at Torfin, Shepard sacrificed several team members to finish off the Batarians uh, hiding underground, even those who surrendered. So there's, it's, 
the the Batarians show up every time there's something really bad going on. It's like they're like the perfect enemy. Also, the uh, there's a character in, in Mass Effect One. Her name is Talitha, and she was a uh, she was a survivor from the Mindwar attack from the Batarians. But what they what the Batarians did to the people on Mindwar that they either killed or the people that they didn't kill they implanted these little like chips um into their heads into the people's heads and without anesthetic they just like cut them open and put the chips inside uh so that they could you know they could be pretty much uh that's what they would do to slaves they also take advantage and enslave addicts of um red sand it's a drug that pretty much enhances biotics. When they, when the addicts can no longer uh, afford their habit, the the slavers or the the Batarian slavers pretty much take advantage of that to get the red sand. They've got to do whatever they say, so they use them as slaves. One of the names that pops up here is Edon Haddad. He was a Batarian. Um, he was an entrepreneur. He was a really rich Batarian. Uh, he. He spent most of his time looking for Prothean and Reaper artifacts. And he was, him and his team were the ones that uh, came in contact with Sovereign. They were the first ones that found him. And they thought he, it, Sovereign was just like a relic, a Reaper relic. Um, but, you know, it turns out that it was a freaking Reaper. Idan Haddad and his team actually boarded Sovereign and they got indoctrinated. Uh, so they were the first, I think they were the first team that got indoctrinated. This, this whole storyline is actually in the first Mass Effect novel, um, Mass Effect Revelation. It was a Batarian that came in contact with Sovereign first. Didn't know he was a Reaper, of course, but, yeah. And this was during, so when Sovereign was, uh, in hibernation state. The Batarians played a big role in Bring Down the Sky. One of the first downloadable, uh, I think it was the first downloadable content for Mass Effect, um, for Mass Effect 1. It was basically these Batarian extremists uh, hijack an asteroid, it's called Asteroid X-57, and um, they use it as a weapon to try to destroy the human colony Terra Nova. Uh, see, I'm telling you, they just, they, they spend all their time trying to destroy human colonies. Uh, one of the Batarians doesn't agree with it. He, he thought it was just a slaver run, that they were going to take the people on, the, the scientists on the asteroid as slaves and all that. But the, the leader of the Batarian was like, no, we're going to use this, we're going to kill everybody and just use this as a weapon and make it crash into Terra Nova. Um, and then that's 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 what you have to do basically you have to go there and stop this from happening uh the batarians also play a role in the um the in the ios game um mass effect galaxy uh they the batarians are pretty much the the antagonists of the game again the the bad guys in mass effect 2 you find the batarians in most, or at least the ones that you come in contact are mostly on Omega, and they're pretty much, they're all in gangs, or just, you know, slavers, or uh, pirates, they're pretty much anything negative that you could think of, that's what a Batarian is. There's also another, in Mass Effect 2, there's a mission, it was called N7, it was an N7 mission, and it was called Javelin Missiles Launched. And it was an assignment where Batarian terrorists attempt to destroy the colony of Watson with two Javelin missiles. Again, they're trying to destroy another colony. Um, so they, they're still really, really sour about that. They're not dropping it anytime soon. Batarians are going to play a huge role in Mass Effect 3, at least. I really don't know exactly how they're going to play a role, but um, the Batarians already hated the humans. But more so with what... Shepard did uh, with the uh, with the mass relay in in the downloadable content for Mass Effect 2 Arrival. If you haven't played Arrival yet, I would really really recommend it because that downloadable content ties directly to Mass Effect 3. Um, the way that it ends, that's pretty much the beginning to Mass Effect 3, uh, or at least what leads into Mass Effect 3, the, the reasons behind the beginning of Mass Effect 3. We know that Shepard is going to be at a trial in Mass Effect 3 in the beginning, 
and he's in a trial because of what happened in Arrival. Shepard has to, in order to prevent the Reapers from coming into the galaxy um, within like a day's time, hours, he has to destroy the mass relay that is in Batarian controlled system. It's called the Bahak system. And pretty much with the destruction of this mass relay, he would kill pr pretty much all of the Batarian inhabitants in the system, which were uh, three, 300,000 inhabitants. The Batarians claim that this was a terrorist attack, and that Shepard just did it, you know, because he wanted to kill all the Batarians. Um, they never, they don't, they don't think that it had to do with the Reapers. They don't believe it. So it's only going to add so much more, uh, fire to that, that feud that the Batarians already have with the humans. Um, so I can only imagine just how much you're going to have to deal with Batarian hostility in Mass Effect 3. I really don't know how, how you're, I mean, you know how you go around the, the galaxy trying to gain the support of all the races so that they could fight the, the Reapers? I don't know how they're going to do it with the, with the Batarians. I think the Batarians are just going to be like, whatever, you know, we're, we'll fend for ourselves. This part I really found interesting is the Batarian culture. The, the, the way that the Batarians live, um, I, did I mention the home planet of the Batarians? I don't think I did. The home planet of the Batarians is Karshan. On their planet, the way that the, their, their culture is that is a caste. It's, it's a caste type of society. And by that I mean that there's ranks. Like there's the, you know, the poor, there's the, the middle class, the high class. You know, there's people in between and all that. And, and overstepping your caste is like it's frowned upon. 